Dwight D. Eisenhower, do solemnly swear. I, Dwight D. Eisenhower, do solemnly swear. That you will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States. In Washington, D.C., Dwight D. Eisenhower begins his second term as President of the United States. In the Soviet Union, scientists launch Sputnik. The first satellite to orbit the Earth. In Maynard, Massachusetts, a young electronics engineer named Ken Olson transforms an idea into a new company. Digital Equipment Corporation opens for business in an old woolen mill, a relic of the industrial age, where blankets for the Union Army had once been made. Olson's idea is to build smaller, cheaper, interactive electronic machines called computers. Few take notice. But over the next four decades, Digital Equipment Corporation will spark a revolution in high technology. It will create a new industry. It will usher in the information age and change how the world works. Ken Olson was born in 1926, the middle child and oldest son. His grandfather was an immigrant from Norway and worked as an iron miner. His father was an inventor of automatic machinery, including one that made universal joints used by most of the automobile manufacturers in Detroit. His inventions provided a comfortable income for the family even during the Great Depression, an inspiration for Ken and his younger brother, Stan. The most important room in the house was the basement workshop. Their father concentrated on machinery the Olsen boys developed a fascination for all things electrical, especially radios. Ken read everything he could find in popular science magazines and technical manuals and brought those ideas to the workshop. We are now in this war. We're all in it, all the way. Every single man, woman, and child is a partner in the most tremendous undertaking of our American history. We must share together the bad news and the good news, the defeats and the victories. In 1944, after graduating from high school, 18-year-old Ken Olson joined the Navy. He was trained as an electronics technician and assigned to an admiral's flagship. He learned to maintain its electronic systems and gained expertise in wartime advances in radio, radar, and sonar technologies. In 1947, he used the GI Bill's college benefits to attend the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, earning a bachelor's and master's degree in electrical engineering. In 1950, he was hired by the new Digital Computer Laboratory within MIT's Lincoln Labs and assigned to a project called Whirlwind, one of the first real-time interactive computers, a giant mainframe with 10,000 vacuum tubes. Olson became a team leader, developing a digital computer that tested Whirlwind's magnetic core memory. In 1951, he represented Lincoln Labs in a joint venture with IBM to build SAGE, the nation's first computer-controlled air defense system linking radar stations to fighter jets, anti-aircraft missiles, and artillery. Then returning to Lincoln Labs, Olson supervised the construction of TXO and TX2, two of the first high-performance digital computers to use transistors. The experience crystallized his vision of what computers could be outside of research laboratories and in the hands of ordinary people. In 1957, he put his idea to the test. With $70,000 in venture capital, he opened the startup Digital Equipment Corporation. Their first products were modules and components, building blocks for scientists and engineers to build and test their own computers. They turned a profit in the first year. 
In 1960, Digital introduced its first computer, the programmed data processor, or PDP-1, a breakthrough in size, cost, and technology. It was the first in a long line called mini computers. In 1965, the PDP-8 became the world's first mass-produced mini-computer. In 1970, Digital introduced the PDP-11. It became the most popular mini-computer line in history. And in 1977, the breakthrough VAX line, along with VMS software and Ethernet networking, fueled skyrocketing sales growth. Demand for an expanding light of computers, software, peripheral devices, and a host of related products and services exploded. Digital opened up new plants, research centers, and sales offices around the world. And digital's technology transformed the workplace in virtually every business and industry. Whatever the product, whatever the process, whatever the service, Whatever the country, everywhere around the world, digital was at the heart of innovation. At digital's head, a man of faith in God and in people to do the right thing. A man of profoundly simple values. Honesty, integrity, truth. Scientist, inventor, engineer, businessman. A transformational leader. This was the genius of Ken Olson.